Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be doing a Mewtwo build for raids. This is arguably the best or one of the best psychic type Pokemon in the entire game right now and I love that it's just come here on home. To get this Pokemon you're going to need to catch it on Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. Those are the four games that I've caught it on. You might be able to catch it on Sword and Shield, not quite sure about that, but let's get into the build. And if you do like these videos, make sure to subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Plenty more where that came from and you don't want to miss any of it. Now it's going to be a Psychic type Terra because we are a Psychic type Pokemon. We're only a single type in, so there's not much more to that. We'll be able to output a lot of damage with the Psychic Terra. Held item is going to be metronome, it's a chain item, every attack we do in a row we get 20% as long as we're using the same attack, so if we use psychic it'll be as 100% damage, if we use it again another time in a row it'll be 120% and so on until it reaches 200% which it will stay at until it gets interrupted. Let me show you where to get it. So you're going to want to fly over to Lavincia North and when you're here you're going to want to come to the Daily Bro Shop and then click on battle items and then you want to scroll down until you see the metronome, 15,000 polka dollars and put it on your Mewtwo. And then we're going to need to go to a Chansey Supply Shop to sort out our nature. So come to this black and green shop to the right of the actual Deli Bro Shop. And you're going to need to buy the Modest Mint for 20,000 Poker Dollars. This will increase your special attack and reduce your attack. We are a special attacker. In fact, we are one of the best special attackers on the entire game. So if you want a special attack in Psychic type Pokemon, then there's not many better than Mewtwo, if any. So I highly suggest you get it. Or if you're feeling lucky, you could enter the giveaway at the end of the week. More about that on Sunday. Now, uh, like I said earlier, up in special attack, down in attack, EVs will go into special attack and HP for damage and survivability. Your EV items will come from the Chansey Supply Shop, so just go back in there. You'll need 26 HP ups for HP and 26 calciums for special attack. This will cost you 520,000 Poké Dollars, so it's quite expensive. If you want to save some money, you can train five Pokémon at once and have an extra Pokémon to take out all the Pokémon. This will save you over 2.5 million Poké Dollars. So to do this, visit any Daily Bird shop. Click on General Goods, scroll to the bottom. They will be your power items. We'll need Power Lens and Power Weight, Power Weight for HP, Power Lens for special attack. These give eight extra EVs after you take out a Pokémon. So we need HP and special attack. Going to show you where to get these right now. So come to the bottom of the map, go to this little pond right here, fly over to the lighthouse and make your way over. Once you're over here near this water area, I want you to activate a level 2 encounter power fairy type sandwich and that will make Azuril spawn a lot in this area and then just take out 28 of them. Easy way to keep track of this, get a Persian, give it amulet coin, give it payday, use uh, PP up twice on payday, it will go to 28, when that hit reaches zero, you will have 28,000 extra poker dollars and a max EV in whatever you're training. Next up, we're gonna go for a special attack. So to do this, fly back over to the lighthouse and then just make your way down here to that tiny little bridge over there. When you get to the bridge, Psyduck will start to spawn, take out 20 of those, you will have your special attack EVs maxed out and we can move on to our IVs. To check IVs, click on your main menu, then click on boxes. Hover over Mewtwo and if you're on your just your normal stats, click the plus button. It will go to your max IVs. As you can see, we only have four max IVs, so we're going to need to go and buy two more. So check how many you need. We don't need attack, by the way. So if you can save yourself some money, then you might as well do that. And then we're going to be visiting a deli bro shop, so I'm going to go to the one in Lavincia North. When you get to the actual deli bro shop, just go inside. Click on general goods, first item will be a bottle cap. One bottle cap equals one max IV, get however many you need. I'll need to buy two, which will cost me 40,000. And then we're going to be flying over to Montenegro. Speak to the person next to the Obama Snow, he will hyper train your Pokemon. Click on your Mewtwo, click bottle caps. Then you're going to click HP, defense, special attack, special defense and speed, then start the training. Now, as you can see, my special attack has gone up by 16 points. We was at 431, now we're at 447. That will do a lot more damage for us. Moving on to the ability, we have two abilities. Pressure, which doubles the use of our target's PP, so they lose PP quicker. And we have Unnerve, which prevents the opponent from using a berry. Neither of these are useful in raids, so just leave it. Whatever you have, you're fine with. Moving on to the move set. If you're enjoying this video so far, by the way, smash that like button, it helps out a lot and I do appreciate it. So we have Psychic Nasty Plot, Psychic Terrain and Psy Strike. Now this sets up a nice little way of taking out the raids. It does a ton of damage or you can go for the one shot. Psychic is going to be a really powerful move, 90 power, 100 accuracy, can lower the target's special defense, it's an amazing move. Nasty Plot, another amazing move, it will raise our special attack by two stages. Psychic Terrain will increase Psychic type moves by 50% for five turns. And Psy Strike is even more powerful than Psychic, 100 power, 100 accuracy. 
but instead of dealing special damage we deal physical damage but that doesn't change the fact that the damage it does is based off our special attack so whichever one is lower the defense our special defense is what we'll be using if we if it's both the same we'll probably be using side strike might mix up and use psychic sometimes so we're pretty much prepared for everything unless we get put to sleep but we don't worry about that so Psychic and Psy Strike, you learn through level up, gets level 100, you can just relearn them both. As for Nasty Plot and Psychic Terrain, we will need TMs to learn these. So we're going to need to come to the Pokemon Center, the green section, that'll be the TM machine. We're going to do Psychic Terrain first, we're going to need three Slowpoke Claws, three Indeedy Furs and three Drowsy Furs. So let's go get these real quick. So we're going to go after the Slowpoke first, so we'll come right here on the map, fly over to Katsuraya Watchtower number one, and then we're just going to be jumping down and looking for a Slowpoke along this path right here. One's appeared straight away, so we're just going to take that out, and that will get us our Slowpoke Claw. Next up we're going to get Drowsy, so what we're going to be doing is coming over to these ruins right here, so I'm going to fly over to the Shrine and make my way over. Once you get to the ruins, you've just got to wait around for a Drowsy to appear. There's one right there. It shouldn't be too long, they appear a lot and you will get your drowsy fur. Next up we have Indeedy, so to get Indeedy come to the top of the map, fly to this location right here, North Province Area 1, and you should find one relatively quickly, just gonna look around the Pokemon Center. If one's not there, just go away from the Pokemon Center and then come back. So it's not too far from the Pokemon Center, but we did find one right here, and we're gonna take it out and get the Indeedy fur, and that will get us a uh, Psychic Terrain. Next up we have a Nasty Plot, we're gonna need Meow for Spirit Tomb Fragments and Tatsugiri Scales for this. So I'm gonna show you where to get these real quick so for the spirit tomb what you're going to do is you're going to come right here on the map so fly over to Clisado gym and then we're just going to yeet ourselves off the side and fly down you'll see the ruins straight away we're just heading for them over there and when you get to the ruins there should be a spirit tomb there just take it out you will guarantee to get free spirit tomb fragments and then we can move on to our other pokemon tatsugiri you can find anywhere in kasraya lake let me just show you so just jump off the side and just go in the lake where are my tatsu geralds mewtwo Taking out everyone in the lake, the little menace. So yeah, we're just going to be searching for Tatsugiri's. Any of them will do. There's one right there, so we're going to take that out. So we did take it out and get the Tatsugiri scale, but we got attacked by a Veluza. Story of my life. Be gone, swordfish. There we go, Tatsugiri scales. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be Meowtha. We're going to, we're not going to be going too far from here. It's just Medali. Go to Medali West. And you're just going to be going around the outside of the town. When it says West Province Area 3, you will start to see them. There's one right there. We're just going to take that out. You can take out Meowth or Persian and you'll get the item. You'll get your Meowth. Uh, and then that's the full build. So let's get into showing you just how strong this Pokemon is in raids. We have our first victim. And annoyingly, it's one that poisons you 24-7. It's going to be a six-star fighting type Dragalga. Let's get straight into it. Now, you can actually do this build with a Shell Bell and just survive and then actually set up the nasty plot even more, but I like doing it this way. So turn one, we're always gonna use nasty plot. He hits us with a toxic, that's fine. Turn two, we're gonna use psychic terrain. We're taking a lot of damage from that poison now, so turn three, we're gonna have to heal up. Question is, do we go for it? We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and get the one shot. So we use nasty plot again. Maybe life orb would have been better for actually going for the one shot, but most of the time I'm not gonna be going for the one shot. We're gonna use nasty plot again. We can survive that, that's fine. And now we'll use Psy Strike because his defense is 90, special defense is 123, see how much damage it does. It does a lot of damage, doesn't quite finish it off, a tiny bit of health remaining. But if we had the Life Orb and we was actually purposely going for one shots, that would have took him out. At least I got to show you one of the actual one shot raids and you actually saw just how much damage it does. 90 defense is not really low defense either, it's quite high defense I'd say. Let's use Psy Strike to finish him off. Boom. Oh, his health disappeared. And that was a very quick raid. The Dragalga goes down, and now we can move on to the second raid. Yes, we got a Giraffa Raffarig backwards, not even trying to pronounce its name. I always get it wrong. But this raid actually gives loads of Mystica. Well, it does a lot of the time anyway. So I'm excited for this one. It's going to be a fighting type, six style. Let's get straight into it. So we're going to use Nasty Plot first turn, raise that special attack by two stages. And I'm going to check if this has a stronger defense or special defense. So its defense and special defense are the same. Should we just use Psychic? Change things up. I forgot to use Psychic Terrain. That's my bad. The damage we did didn't even count. Let me use Psychic Terrain real quick. Yeah, sometimes the raid like kind of bugs out and the damage you do doesn't really count that much. You don't see the bar go down, at least from my experience. Gonna use Psychic again. Does a decent amount of damage. Do we get the drop? No, we don't. Hopefully the shield doesn't go up here. The shield does go up, that's completely fine. I messed up, that could have been 120% damage instead of just 100. And we didn't get the actual Psychic Terrain boost from the first attack. So I messed up quite a bit in that raid actually. 
but we're still going strong. We're gonna use one last side kit, we're not gonna terrestrialize, no point, and we go down. If you did have the shell bell, you'd have is literally next to zero percent chance of going down because the amount of damage you do, the amount of health you get back. I've got an attachment to the metronome though. We've been through a lot together. We're gonna nasty plot here. He hits us with a hyper voice. We don't really care about the uh, psychic terrain now. Uh, we're just gonna use psychic. Matters a lot more at the start of the raid. So we've terrestrialized and now we're gonna use psychic. Boom, over half the shield gun. I've not screwed up uh, in a raid like this in a while. I was a bit embarrassed in that. Pretend you didn't see it. We use psychic again, break that shield. Shield breaks. And then we're gonna use one more psychic to finish the job. We would have actually done more damage if we used uh, side strike there. The Faradjurath rig. I just, I give up. Give up trying to say your name. Let's see how many Mystica we get, if we get any. Come on, bless us. We get free Herma Mystica, that's amazing. Let's move on to the third raid. Oh, we have a real challenge here. The very high attack Haxorus himself. Fighting type, five star, let's see how it goes. He has Hax in his name, so he's probably gonna give me a bit of trouble. Do have two Pokemon with Intimidate though, which is amazing. Everyone's too nervous to eat berries in the entire lobby. That's great. We're gonna start off with a nasty plot. He hits us with an outrage. I'm glad he didn't use crunch there. Second turn, psychic terrain, you know the drill. Unlike last time, that was a bit silly of me. He should be able to get three psychics away if he just keeps using outrage. Now we can use psychic. He has 70 special defense and 90 defense. So psychic will do more damage. He uses outrage again, that's fine. Oh, he did remove the actual intimidate uh, debuffs from himself. We're gonna use psychic again. This should put him to about half. He's gonna use outrage. I think we just survived that, we do. I'm glad we actually survived that because now we can use Psychic again. It won't do too much damage, as you can see, not too much damage. But now we have our Terrestrialize when we come back. I swear these Pokemon just never hurt themselves in confusion when they use Outrage. I know he's got hacks in his name, but still. He nullifies us, that's fine, because we're just going to set up again anyway. Uh, we're going to Terrestrialize and then set up with Nasty Plot. I think the actual Psychic Terrain will go here. I'm not sure how many turns it's been. Hopefully we get uh, to do one attack with it though. The nasty plot will put us on the plus two special attack, which will be amazing. He's gonna use outrage, that's completely fine. Do we get an attack with psychic terrain? That is the question. We don't. We'll just start using psychic, it shouldn't matter too much. Let's see how much damage we do. We do well over half the shield, that's amazing. He uses outrage on us. We're gonna use psychic again, this will break his shield for sure. I don't think it will finish him off though, maybe it will. It does finish him off, that's amazing. And the little dragon goes down, little lizard boy. He wants to get one last attack before he goes. Oh, and he wants to do a bit of a dragon dance, and then he finally goes down. Don't get any Mystica this time, which is unfortunate, but that's all three raids done. Now, is Mewtwo a contender for the best psychic type on the game? Let me know your thoughts. We've got quite a few new, stronger, actual competitors for it. If you want to see a really cool Eternatus build, then click on screen right now, and I'll catch you on the next one.